What the hell happened? Why did you resign from the Los Angeles Lakers? Well, it was a couple couple reasons. You know, um, first of all, uh, let me thank Jeannie Buss for the opportunity first. Uh, when we sat down and negotiated, I told her, I said, listen, I can't give up all my businesses. I make more money doing that than becoming the president of the Lakers. So you know that I'm going to be in and out. Is that okay with you? She said, yes. I said, do I have the power to make decisions? Because that was important uh, for me to take the job as well. She said, you have the power to make the decisions. So um, I said, okay, let's go do it. She said, I'm going to put you with Rob Palenka, because I didn't know Rob. So she put us both together. Um, first year in, it was tremendous. I wanted the, the strategy to be, let's get up under the salary cap, because we were way over the salary cap. And um, I said, let's trade some people, get some draft picks, so on and on. D'Angelo, you know, uh, great guard, but had a problem when uh, uh, Shaggy P and yes. the whole Nick, the whole thing went down. So I knew I had to get him out. We made some moves. That draft pick turned into Kyle Kuzma. So we felt good about making that deal. Drafted Lonzo Ball number two. I know you're still against it, but yes. we, we can de debate that exactly. because I think he's outstanding uh, all around point guard. Um, then uh, Josh Hart. So things got going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And then I start hearing, you know, Magic, you're not working hard enough. Magic's not in the office. So people around the Laker office was telling me Rob was saying things. and Rob uh, Palenka. Rob Palenka. And I didn't like those things being said behind my back, that I wasn't in the office enough and so on and on. Um, so I started getting calls from my friends outside of basketball saying those things now – were said to them outside of basketball. Now, not just in the Laker office anymore. Mm -hmm. Now it's in the media and so on. And these are people you trust. Exactly. And people got to remember something. Being in this business for over 40 years, I got allies, I got friends everywhere, right? And so, and then I had to monitor the brothers because Joey and Jesse wanted more involvement, wanted more power. The Bus Brothers. The Bus Brothers. Right. And so I said, I didn't mind doing that because they're good guys. But also I sat them down and said, hey, listen, I'm going to really help you guys mature and get better. And uh, so I took that role as well because they felt they should have been, you know, in powerful positions, whether that's the general manager or the president, right? Mm -hmm. And so... Um, then when those things start happening too much, Stephen A., the straw that broke the camel's back was I wanted to fire Luke Walton. And we had Max three meetings. Um, I showed her the things he did well and the things he didn't do well. And I said, listen, we got to get a better coach. I like him. He's great. Former Laker, the whole thing. So the first day, well, let's think about it. Second day, okay, you can fire him. Then the next day, no, we should try to work it out. So when we went back and forth like that, and then she brought Tim Harrison to the meeting, you know, some of the guys. And Tim, you know, wanted me, he wanted to keep him because he was friends with Luke. And Luke's a great guy, mm -hmm. great guy. He is. And so... When I looked up and said, wait a minute, I only really answered to Jeannie Buss. Now I got Tim involved. And I said, it's time for me to go. I got things happening that was being said behind my back. I don't have the power that I thought I had to make the decisions. And I told them, when it's not fun for me, when I think that I don't have the decision-making power that I thought I had, then I got to step aside. Let me go back to the backstabbing comment, because you said that mm -hmm. when you resigned abruptly inside the Staples Center. And you just educated us that friends you trust, that got to them outside of basketball. Right. So did it come down? I'm not, I understand the Luke Walton element. Yeah. But when you allude to the backstabbing, 
Was it Rob Palenka that you're talking about? Is it Rob Palenka and other people within the Lakers organization? Who exactly were you talking no, about? No, just Rob. I think that other people didn't bother me. It's, it's really funny as I sit here. I don't worry about those type of things. I'm not a guy who is like, oh, man, he said this about me, and I worry about it. What happened was I wasn't having fun coming to work anymore, mm -hmm. especially when I got to work beside you, knowing that you want my position. And I'm okay with that because this is what happened, Stephen A. I told him in year two, I'm only going to be here three years. So my job is, Rob, to get you ready for this position. So, you know, I was going to help elevate him mm. to, the, to the president's position. And so when all this was coming back to me and guys calling me saying, you better watch out for him. And then what was crazy was before when I took the job, you know how many agents called me and mm. said, you got to watch out for him. And I said, eh, I got to give the guy a fair chance. You know, I can't listen to mm -hmm to people. And so, uh, but he, he was a hard worker, smart guy, but uh, now you have that position. So I'm good with that.